This is a tutorial video from my music production presets package. If you want to bring MIDI back to Adobe Audition, well, almost. Go to mrc.fm slash presets. After a while of playing with my music production presets, you may have got used to using all six different synth sounds I include with the download. You might want to start making your own. Here's how you do it. So obviously we've got the example tune here of Ode to Joy with a nice sawtooth style synth. That's not too bad. So how do we start creating our own sounds? Well, first of all, I'm gonna open up that synth file, zoom out and select it all. Now I'm going to go into effects, generate tones, and I can overwrite that, it's not a problem at all. And I'll go to the default, which is a 440 Hertz tone. Sounds like that. Now the magic number here for frequency, you can put it either here or here, doesn't really matter, is 261.63. Why that really weird number, Mike? Because that is the frequency of middle C, and it's even approved by the Acoustical Society of America. So this is a middle C. And of course, if we go to triangle sawtooth, up to 100% there, you'll hear that's a middle C, okay? So now you can start having some fun. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. You can choose the shape of your synth. It could be like this. You could change the shape to being a square, or you could make it bigger like that, or like this, for instance. So you get the kind of sound you want. You can even change the modulation depth and get something like that. And that can be your synth. So it's really messing about with the generate tones effect till you get the style of synth you want. Click OK, and automatically it's updated in your multi-track, and you get something that sounds really bizarre, but still. It's a synth idea. You can go back in, overwrite it if you want something else. Effects, generate, tones. We'll click OK to that. Uh, maybe we'll go for one of the presets here. Uh, let's go for out of control, see how that sounds. And uh, well, let's just play with that for instance and see how it sounds in the overall sound. Oh, very twinkly. <laughs> so now you know how to do it. Go and create your own synths. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. There you go. MIDI nearly back in Adobe Audition. If you want to have fun like this, just go to mrc.fm slash presets and download the music production presets today.